وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول A question asked in the explanation of Kitab al-Tawheed by Shaykh ibn Uthaymeen, may Allah have mercy on him, he mentioned that sihr has two types. He then mentions that the first type is shirk and takes the person out of the fold of Islam, whereas the second type doesn't. I have only heard or read about the first type of sihr. As for the second type that is mentioned here, I do not know what form it comes in. Can you please help me with understanding this? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salam ala abdillahi wa rasulih Nabiina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. There is no doubt that sihr in general, the general understanding of sihr is that sihr is disbelief. Allah Azza wa Jal told us in the Quran, إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ فِتْنَةٌ فَلَا تَكْفُرْ We are only a trial, i.e. the two angels, so do not disbelieve. And Allah Azza wa Jal said, وَلَقَدْ عَلِمُوا لَمَنْ اشْتَرَاهُ مَا لَهُ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنْ خَلَقٍ and they certainly know that the one who purchased this magic will not have any share in the hereafter. However, there are a hadith in which sihr is mentioned, or there are circumstances in which the word sihr could be used, and we have an evidence that this is not disbelief. For example, the hadith of Abdullah ibn Umar, the hadith narrated by Bukhari, Rahimahullah uh, Ta'ala, the hadith of Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna min al-bayani la sihra. Indeed, in some types of eloquence or some types of speech, there is magic. And likewise, if you were to give an example in English, where a person would say it was a magical moment, uh, that happened like magic and so on. So there are some situations or some things that people might term magic linguistically, but they don't come under the sihr, which is shara'an, considered to be kufr, considered to be disbelief. So that could contain things like potions that are you know, effectively drugs, uh, that could be called magic. Likewise, certain eloquence and speech and the ability to kind of captivate the people could also be called magic, like the Prophet وسلم, called it, and there could be other things. And these are the types of sihr which do not take a person outside of the religion of Islam. And the ruling of each one is dependent upon the evidences that Islam provides. So, for example, in min al bayani la sihra. The scholars say that the speech which people use to captivate people, if it is speech for good, then it's good. And if it is speech for bad, then it is bad. And that is when people captivate others with their powerful and sort of mesmerizing speech. And that can be called sihr because of linguistically the effect that it has on people and the way that it captures people like the way that sihr captures people. Inna min al-bayani. So that is the kind which is not, uh, which doesn't take a person outside of Islam. It's not sihr in the real sense of the word because it doesn't involve worshipping the shaitan. It doesn't involve disbelieving in ar-Rahman. It doesn't involve means of seeking nearness to other than Allah. Uh, however, it could still be termed magic in the language or it could still be considered to be something akin to magic or resembling magic. And that is the one which is not, uh, which is not kufr. As for the ruling of it, it takes each one has to be looked at individually and each one has to be looked at with its own evidences and given a ruling based on that. And the example is the statement of the Prophet wasallam in Namin al-Bayani, the sihra indeed in some forms of speech, there is magic. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. If you have any questions you'd like to see answered as part of this series, then you can email us at questions at amau.org.